<laughs> ah, I think I know what's going on over here. I think I know what Kyoko is talking about. Looking back at what the Celestia said when she described the event in the warehouse with her fighting Chihiro in the warehouse and having the duffel bag and the tracksuit. I think I know who is the one on the wrong side over here. I think I know who did a big mistake over here, so let's see if this is actually gonna be true. I saying there's something off about what someone just said? First of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing! So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as huh? No, that's wrong! <laughs> Mondo, you do have something to say. What did you just say? Mondo, what are you trying to say here? Tell me something here. How did you know that the tracksuit was actually blue? Celestia never said that the tracksuit was blue. Huh? What I say? When Celeste testified a few minutes ago, she said I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag, and then I assume he headed off to exercise. She never said anything about the jacket's color. Mm-hmm. So why did you say Chihiro's blue tracksuit? Only that you know that Chihiro's tracksuit was blue. That means you do know something here, Mondo. What is it that you're not saying here? Ah. Hey, Celeste, what color was Chihiro's tracksuit? As a matter of fact, it was blue. And before we began the trial, did you tell anyone that? The only one I told about any of this was you. Then, Mondo, how did you know what color Chihiro's tracksuit was? Because I... I just... I'm sure he saw the clothes at some point in the investigation. Hmm. That could be. Well, uh, you know, during investigation, he met. Ah. Well, then he should have told this. Because if it was before investigation, then I, I can understand that. But still. No, that can't be it. The bag and clothes were surely disposed of by the time we began our investigation. Oh, of course. Then the only reason he could have known what color the tracksuit was. It's if he saw Cherry with it before he died! That's the only possibility! And that means he knew about whoever the killer was. Or it may be that he was the killer. Cherry? Uh, are you talking about Chihiro? So, how about it? Did you see the track? Oh god. You? Ew. <laughs> just by chance. I just happened to see it last night. When exactly? He walked past me, and he was carrying the tracksuit in his hands. No, that can't be it either. According to Celeste's testimony... She stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. When Celeste noticed it, Chihiro made a point of making sure the jacket was completely in the bag. If you just ran into him briefly, you couldn't possibly have seen what color the tracksuit was. Okay, well, hmm. That is true. In fact, I even missed that information. It would appear you've dug your own grave. Yeah, what do you have to say here, Mondo? Perhaps. But you handed him the shovel, didn't you? That's why you said what you did. Huh? Focus on the tracksuit and it'll be obvious who he met with? What a bunch of nonsense. Ah, now I understand. It was all one big bluff, wasn't it? Your true intention was to draw a slip of the tongue from the culprit. That's why you said you knew who did it. 
to put them on edge. Mm. That's right. However, Mondo was my target all along. I had my suspicions about him from the very beginning. <laughs> but why? What made you so suspicious? Uh, you know, there is something, there is something that I uh, I was thinking of since the beginning of this uh, class trial. I uh, I had my eyes on Mondo all this time because of some particular things that may or may not be mentioned in, the, in this class trial. We won't know, but. Just because of Byakuya, he made this thing all complicated and such, so... It was either Byakuya or it was Mondo, so... Let's see. That's a good question. Huh? The way he was... The way he talked? The way he was acting? Because I hate him? Well, I guess that's definitely something. The way he talked? The way he was acting? What is she talking about? Can I actually? No, I cannot do. I cannot look at the, look at the transcript anymore. Ah, man. Uh, wait, when was it? Uh, when is she like? What is she talking about? Like, when is it uh, that she's referring to? When is the point? Oh, uh, the way he, the way he talked. a certain turning point that tipped me off. Maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo, but you tend to refer to men and women differently. You only call guys dude. For girls, it's chick. And after he was killed, you happen to refer to him as dude. What? Once I picked up on that, it occurred to me that Mondo knew something we didn't. <laughs> Such a tiny detail? Yeah, she actually noticed that. When was it? I don't remember. Like, was it something that I haven't even seen? Did I s was I talking to Mondo and I actually missed that little detail? Color be impressed, Kyoko. You are definitely one. You are definitely. Whew, I. Words cannot even describe how awesome you are. Are you a witch? She's a witch! You're positively frightful! Or it could be that she's a witch. We never know. No. I'm not the frightful one. Or a psychic, but we know how that ended up being in the last chapter. Not nearly as frightful as someone capable of murdering a friend. You are the best, Kyoko. You know that? Mondo, was it really you? Did you really kill Chihiro? I... 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 Uh, I didn't kill anyone! You've been all over me, judging everything I say, putting words in my mouth. What gives you the right to treat me like a goddamn criminal? Yeah, he would never do something like that! This is a false accusation! It's true. My reasoning on that is pretty shaky. Yeah. Pretty much. We don't have legit evidence yet. But I'm sure that Kyoko has some on upper sleeves. That was fast. <laughs> okay. Well, this does present us with a problem. It seems we are all out of leads. Are we? <laughs> My time has nearly come. <gasps> of course! Right before the investig- Like, right before the class trial, he said that he had something before. Now he's gonna reveal it! Go, Yamada! That's what my little ghost friend is telling me. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Hifumi, weren't you telling me you found some evidence? Really? What kind of evidence? Actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it here calmly, it might not be all that relevant. Oh, come on, don't be shy. 
Come on, Yamada. You can do it. You lovable fat parakeet. Jeez, does your confidence just get up and walk away? It's fine, man. Just tell us. If you really insist, then... I mean, it is definitely gonna add like one or two extra hours to this class trial just because you're gonna give us like a false lead or something like that. But other than that, no, it's just... You can give us like if, like any information you want. Um, here it is. Hmm? What do you have there? Uh, e handbook. Wait a second. Handbook. Kyoko said that Chihiro's handbook was missing. Is this it? It happens to be an e handbook. I found it laying on the ground, so I scooped it up. He found it on the ground, right? Then it must belong to... It must be Chihiro's! Yes, there you go. We know Chihiro's handbook was missing from the scene of the crime, right? For a fact. For a fact indeed! Cause I'm the Alpha and the Omega! And the Delta. I was totally sure I'd found it. But it must hold some clue about the culprit, right? Well, that's what I was hoping. But it's busted. It won't even turn on. Busted? It won't even turn on? Well... Hmm? Imagine the culprit broke it to get rid of any evidence after the murder. Yeah, but just like Monogona said, how, how, do, how are you able to break a, a handbook? That's odd. I didn't think the handbooks were quite so fragile. Because we do remember that when we were in the main hall, we checked the handbooks and... We can open uh, Sayaka's handbook, for example. It's not like uh, the students are not able to open other students' like like students' handbooks. So, is it really broken? Is it uh, the same as Leon's handbook? It it just won't open for some reason. Why? If it was Chihiro's, then how does You're this? Right. They're not. They're totally waterproof and shock resistant. It would take an awful lot to break one. Unless he's talking about that specific weak, po weak point. And yet, this one does appear to be broken. As is Leon's, sitting useless in the main hall. For all your confidence, that is a remarkably high failure rate. <laughs> Do you think there might be some kind of mystery in there somewhere? How precisely did the handbooks get broken? How did the handbook break? There's only one possible explanation. Uh, I would go with hacking it. By exploding a bug? I don't know about that one. By hitting its weak point. Well, if Monokuma said something about a weak point, about the handbook having a weak point, then this could be it. Well, I would go with... Oh my god, I have like 8 seconds of uh, hacking this one. Okay, might as well just go with that. You told us before that the handbook has one weak point, didn't you? Yeah, you remember that? Of course I do. Yeah, I, I'm not a fool. I'm a true detective. Let that slip, but I never told anyone what the weak point actually was. No, but it did there. But just the fact that there is a weak point is enough. But if the handbook is supposed to never break and two of them broke in quick succession, then then we can only assume that someone's figured out its weakness. Mm. You know what the weakness is, right, Monokuma? So, what is it? Is he actually gonna tell us? You're asking me? I think it's a necessary piece of information if you want this to be a fair trial. Mm. But if I tell you and someone else decides to copy it, that would be very not good. That would be very not good. Oh boohoo, like oh come on, you you can create like different e handbooks after this. Like you are a panda cyborg from the future. How how hard can it be to create like new handbooks or like you know without like making it so that there is no weak point anymore? Just tell us already. Why would we want to break our own handbooks? 
that's true. Why would we want to break our handbooks? Unless we want to break others' handbooks. Huh. Oh well, I have a weakness for pushy demands. But you're sure you won't follow their example? I personally wouldn't, but what about the others? Hmm. Then allow me to make a special announcement. The weak point of my cutting edge e handbook is. Is. Just watch, it is gonna be something very, very simple. When it's exposed to high temperatures for too long, it will suffer a meltdown and totally break! Oh. Hmm, I guess. I flippin' knew it! Wait, you knew it? You knew it? Y y yeah you knew it? Yeah, cause I found the handbook laying on the floor of the sauna. You I want to hug you so much, Yamada. That's it. Oh my god, the sauna. <laughs> Mondo, you do have some explaining to do once again. The temperature in the sauna can reach over 200 degrees. Strange how you don't get burnt, huh? It's because as your sweat evaporates, it creates a cooling layer of air around your skin. If the hot air of the sauna were somehow pushed directly onto your skin, you'd definitely get fried. Well, hey, wait, 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 hold on. How can anyone figure that one out, like uh, the weak point? Hmm. That layer of air would get blown away. That's why you may feel a burning when you move around. So when you're in a sauna, make sure to keep nice and still. Ah, interesting. I learned one new fact today. That is a mere trifling speck of knowledge. Anyway, if you found the victim's handbook in the sauna, then the killer must have been purposely trying to raise its temperature in order to break it. Uh, true. I mean, uh, if the killer was in the sauna... How did the killer know to put the handbook in the sauna without knowing its weak point in the first place? There is one explanation for that. Meaning the culprit somehow knew its weakness. But how'd they find out? Monokuma said he didn't tell anyone, right? Unless it's by accident. Indeed. Quite the mystery. What if they found out by accident? Boom! <laughs> yeah, there you go. Kyoko, I love you. What do you mean by accident? What if the killer took their own handbook into the sauna, not knowing its weakness? And it broke. Mm -hmm. They'd realize it was broken, of course, and it wouldn't be hard to figure out why. Yep, indeed. And therefore, wait, wait, we're we're talking about Chihiro's handbook. Then this means that uh, it could. Could this mean that the the handbook that we found that is actually broken was actually the Keller's handbook and not Chihiro's handbook? Then where in the world is Chihiro's handbook now? And once they had Chihiro's handbook, they knew they had an easy way to dispose of it. Oh. Oh, well, okay. It could be that it's it's still Chihiro's handbook. And the killer actually managed to break that one as well. I won't say it's not possible, but who would have done something like that? I don't know of anyone who took their handbook into the sauna. <laughs> I might know someone who did. Whoa! Seriously? Yep! I think the one who may have taken their handbook into the sauna was... <laughs> who might have brought their handbook into the sauna? Really, it could have only have been one person. Yes, indeed. There could have been only one person. And that is... Mondo! Here's my answer! Mondo, your handbook got broken in the sauna, didn't it? What? Why? Why do you keep accusing him? <laughs> because of obvious reasons, Taga. 
Mondo and Taka had an endurance contest in the sauna not too long ago, remember? And for the contest, Mondo just so happened to keep his school uniform on. Indeed. But little did he realize, he'd also left his handbook in one of his uniform pockets. I was also thinking of Taka, but... As I remember, he didn't have his clothes on at that point, but Mondo did. And when it was all over, Mondo discovered that taking your handbook into the sauna could easily destroy it. No, wait, hold on. You've got it all wrong. He would never kill. How do you know that? I don't accept this. Show me the proof. The actual solid proof. Hmm. That's right. We do need solid proof for that. Chihiro's handbook is definitely a proof enough that somebody did know did know about the weakness and destroyed it using the the weak point. But it still is not this is still not proof that Mondo is the one who did it, even though it pretty much leads to him. I mean, I don't wanna I don't want to believe it either, but but I found something that proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Oh, is it? Hmm. Oh my god, we have like six bullets over here. Wait, no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. We could easily solve this, this whole thing. You want to know how, ladies and gents? Well, you're gonna have to wait for the next episode <laughs> and see what I what I'm actually thinking of. But for right now, I'm just gonna leave you with a cliffhanger over here with the non-stop debate and what I was thinking. But yeah.